Mm, hello everyone. And in this video, we are going to talk about the uh, internal kinetic energy, and this is the final part of the collision. And for the internal kinetic energy, kinetic, internal kinetic energy is a very um, it's not very common <laughs> common topic, but. I want to share this topic with you. Okay, it also comes from the ballistic pendulum, uh, or, or say it comes from the inelastic collision. Okay, so in the previous video we say that the the big the most the biggest difference between the elastic and the inelastic collision is, uh, during the inelastic collision the kinetic kinetic energy will lost will lost well, the kinetic energy you have the kinetic energy lost. And the ballistic pendulum is a very nice example for the inelastic collision. And previously, we have calculated as the bullet strike into the capital M, even into the ballistic pendulum, it will carry a velocity V prime. And we use the momentum conservation can calculate the V prime. And in the previous video, we always compare the kinetic energy before the in before the inelastic collision and after, right after the, the inelastic collision. And uh, we found that uh, after the inelastic collision, it will K prime, okay, just kinetic energy after the, right after the inelastic collision, uh, we have the conclusion that, uh, okay, let's see, as I was say, we have the conclusion that this K prime is smaller than K, okay. And yeah, with the kinetic energy loss, so it's a it's an inelastic collision. And let's first do a further calculation. Let's calculate the mm, say what's what's exactly the loss energy. Okay, what exactly the loss in the, in the kinetic energy loss? So we we, we calculate a k minus k prime. Yeah, this this is a kinetic energy loss. Okay, so it's one over two m v square minus one over two. Uh, let's say m plus m, yeah, m plus m, m square v square. Hmm. Okay. So that's the what's the result? Hmm. What's the result? <laughs> oh. Okay, prime. Okay, prime. What oh, did I miss something wrong? Oh, maybe I missed something. Okay. Ah, I mean. Uh, my notes is not like correct. Okay. Okay. Anyhow. Anyway. Okay. So the the lost kinetic energy is here. Or uh, so. And what's the name? Let's do a a little. M plus m. So it's m m plus m square. Here yeah, m. Let's see m m plus m squared. Okay, so v squared minus one over two m plus m m squared v squared. So the kinetic energy loss is hmm, is m plus m m m v squared. Okay, I think my notes is something wrong in the notes. Hmm, it's k minus k prime. It should be k minus k prime. <laughs> okay, okay. So this is uh, on the screen. This is uh, correct. Okay, this is a lost. This is a lost kinetic energy. Okay, lost. Okay, this is a lost, lost kinetic energy. Lost. Or is the kinetic energy lost? Okay. Okay. So and now we are introduce a term called inelastic. Uh, sorry, internal kinetic energy. Okay, so internal kinetic energy. Okay, internal kinetic internal kinetic kinetic energy. And what is the internal kinetic energy? Okay, and actually internal kinetic energy you can have some explanation. It's just the the, the kinetic energy. In energy in uh, the center of mass frame. Okay, here we come. We have the new term. The new term is called the uh, internal. Uh, sorry, uh, <laughs> the center of mass frame. 
center of mass frame. Okay. And uh, what is center of mass frame? Let's do a little explanation. Center of mass frame. Mass frame. Center of mass frame is 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 uh, it's it's not it's not equal to the it's not equal to the center of mass. It's center of why not we we are talking about center of mass frame, and it's not center of mass, uh, but has some but it's it's a kind of related to a center of mass, but not exactly the same. The center of mass frame is the the observer. A observer is moving along with the center of mass. And previously, we say we previously when we talk about center of mass, the center, we say the center of mass is a very special point. Okay, center of mass is a very special point. And now the center of the now right now the center of mass frame center of mass frame the meaning of center of mass frame the, the observer is moving along with the center of mass or you can say the observer or the observer is sitting on the center of mass or oh, okay the observer is Okay, it's just um, observer. Yeah. Okay, just depend on which kind of explanation you like. Okay, you can say observer, observer or the observer is moving along with the center of mass, or you can say the observer is sitting on the center of mass. Okay, and in the center of mass frame, the kinetic energy in the center of mass frame is called internal kinetic energy. And we will reach a conclusion is that the internal kinetic energy is the maximum possible kinetic energy you can lose during the inelastic collision. Okay, so so let's calculate. So let's calculate what uh, calculate the internal kinetic energy based uh, based on this definition. And we use the use the in is you know, use use the ballistic pendulum as an example. Okay, so first of all, it's the center of mass frame. Okay, internal kinetic energy. Uh, internal kinetic energy is the kinetic energy in center of mass frame. So, so okay, let's first of all let's calculate the center. Uh, sorry, the velocity of center of mass. Okay, the velocity of center of mass. Okay, velocity of center of mass. What is velocity of center of mass? Okay. Okay, let's go get back to this picture. Okay, so what's the velocity of center of mass? Okay, here, 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 here. Velocity of center of mass before the collision. Okay, before collision. Okay, that's uh, before, uh, before, before the in, in before the inelastic collision. Inelastic collision. What is the velocity of center of mass? Okay, do you remember the velocity? What is the velocity of center? What to calculate the velocity of center of mass? Summation alpha m alpha and summation alpha m alpha v alpha. Okay, so right now before the, the, the system, we always we all we have the total mass is m capital M plus m. And summation alpha m alpha v alpha is m v plus m times zero. Okay, because initially the pendulum is at rest, we only have the bullet carry velocity v. Okay, so the center of mass, the velocity of center of mass is m plus m m v. Okay, and also we once we have this information, we can calculate the kinetic energy in center of mass frame. Okay. Okay, so when you're sitting on the center of mass frame, that means you move, a, move moving along with center of mass. Okay, as you're moving along with center of mass, and then and you, you, you're sitting on the center of mass, okay, and what's the velocity you see for m and m? Small m and capital What's the velocity you will see for the small m and capital M? Okay. Uh, in a COM frame, in the center of mass frame, center of mass frame, uh, uh, the velocity, the observed velocity, the observed 
the observer, um, how to describe this, how to use, how to use the correct sentence. The center of mass, um, okay, okay, the observer feel, observer feel, the relative velocity, feel the relative velocity of the small m and well, the relative velocity of the capital M. The R means relative, okay, because you are sitting on the center of the mass frame. Okay, yeah, as, as you see a center of mass frame, you're moving along with the center of mass and, and, and in that position, what will, what will, what, 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 what will you see? The, the velocity you feel is different from in a laboratory frame, okay? In the center of mass frame, moving along with center of mass, so you will observe the relative velocity of small n and capital N. And the reference and reference of the relative velocity is the, is the velocity of center of mass. Okay. Yeah, so in, in this special in this very special frame, you observe the relative velocity of small n and capital N. And, okay, and uh, what's the relative velocity of the of the small m? Okay, like I said, the relative velocity is relative to your center of mass. Okay, and what's the relative velocity of capital M? It's your velocity in laboratory frame and minus the motion and the velocity of center of mass. Okay, so Vm is just the uh, yeah, run rate of V, okay, and minus center of velocity of center of mass. And for the capital M, yeah, it's before the elastic, elastic collision, so it's velocity zero, so it's minus M plus M and MV. Okay, so you will have this M plus M plus MV. That's the relative velocity of small m, capital M. Okay, in the, when you're sitting on the center of mass. Okay, and you can check this. Check by yourself. Check by yourself, small m plus relative velocity of small m plus capital M times relative velocity of capital M is equal to z. Check by yourself. Check by yourself. By yourself. It's, it's easy to check. It's easy to check. It must be zero. Okay. So the center of mass frame is another name for the center of mass frame. It's called zero momentum frame. So in that particular frame, in the center of mass frame, the, the total momentum in the center of mass frame is zero. It must be zero. Okay, check by yourself. I don't I don't want to check this here because we don't have much time. Okay, so once you have the relative velocity, so that's what you observe. What's the velocity you observe in the center, when you're sitting on the center of mass? So let's use this to calculate the kinetic energy in the center of mass frame. So it's very easy. Just use the kinetic energy formula. Okay, so that's all. So kinetic energy, kinetic energy in the CON frame, in the CON frame. Okay, it's just uh, one over two small m times V relative velocity of capital M squared plus 1 over 2 capital M mass M times the relative velocity of capital M and square. And let's do the little calculation. Okay, it's not that hard. So 1 over 2 M times V minus M plus M and V square plus 1 over 2 capital M and M plus M and V square. Okay, let's um, hmm. uh, let's do a little calculation here. What's the result? Okay, one over two m. Uh, this what this will be this m plus m. As the it's m v square plus one over two capital m m plus m m v square. So what's the result? What's the result? Uh, it's 1 over 2 m plus m square. So what is m? m square v square plus m m square v square. You have v square, so you have v square here. 
So if mm, yeah, it's mm, mm plus mm. Okay, and cancel our cancel out. So one over two m plus m m m v square. So let's check. So let's check. Okay, the kinetic energy. That's the internal kinetic in some center of mass. Okay, like I say, the another mass is called internal kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. Okay, we see from this problem, from this problem, from this ballistic pendulum, we can see that the internal kinetic energy, internal kinetic energy is equal to, we are here, 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 the kinetic energy loss, we just calculate, C. Okay. Okay, so in this problem, we, we, we have, we, we, we get the conclusion is in this in this example kinetic internal uh, sorry sorry it's called the internal internal kinet internal kinetic kinetic energy is equal to uh, kinetic energy kinetic energy, kinetic energy loss, loss during, during the elastic collision. Elastic collision. Okay, so if you found the inter your kin internal kinetic energy is equal to the kinetic energy loss during the inelastic collision, and we will give this in elastic collision a name. What's the name? We'll give this a name. It's called complete, complete in elastic collision. Okay. If you, you find your internal kinetic energy is equal to the kinetic energy loss during the in elastic collision, it's called this in elastic collision. We, we give it is a name. Okay. It's very, no, it's called complete inelastic collision. Okay, complete inelastic collision. And uh, also, can internal kinetic energy uh, is on, on one more common for the in, internal kinetic and internal kinetic internal kinetic energy. It is the maximum maximum possible. Yeah, it's a maximum possible uh, energy. Would, would, would loss, would loss during, during the inelastic collision. Okay, so actually the internal kinetic energy is related, related, related to the kinetic energy loss during the inelastic, inelastic collision. It's the maximum possible, maximum possible energy would lost during the inelastic collision. Okay, that's why I want to introduce the internal kinetic energy to you because it's all relates to the inelastic collision. And uh, there is a formal formula for for uh, the calculation for in the internal kinetic energy. If we have two objects, okay, two up two particle system, two particle system, two particle system. Uh, the internal kinetic energy is the internal kinetic energy is internal kinetic energy. I will just say K internal. Okay, K internal. K internal is equal to one over two nu times v one two square. Nu is called reduced mass. Reduced mass and the reduced mass nu one over nu is equal to m one one over capital and uh, reciprocal of capital m and reciprocal of the small m and the v one two is uh, relative velocity uh, v one two is relative velocity between one and two. relative velocity between for one and two, okay. 
Okay, it's V2 minus V1 or, or V1 minus V2. Okay, it doesn't matter because finally it was square. So V2 minus V1, V1 minus V1 minus V2, it doesn't matter. Okay, this is a formal formula for the calculator internal kinetic energy. And we actually, there, there, there is some proof for this, but I'll just skip this, okay, because that proof is very tedious. Um, Okay, one the new is recall reduced mass and reduced mass is related to the amount of object between all these two particles, object of two collision particles. And uh, the final comment is okay. This um, also I found this uh, formula is introduced in the textbook, and I, I don't have time to prove this, but just memorize memorize the, the kinetic energy of your system is equal to your kinetic energy of center of mass. And plus, and plus the internal kinetic energy. Your total, your system, your total kinetic energy is equal to the kinetic energy of center of mass, mass plus the internal kinetic energy. Um, yeah, this this somehow can be proved, but uh, uh, I don't have time to do this do this proof, but. Just let you know, okay, the, your, the total kinetic energy of your system is just the internal kinetic energy plus the kinetic energy of center of mass. Okay, yeah, I don't have time to prove this. Okay, and, and also, uh, I found there's one problem in your homework you need to use this concept. Okay, the total kinetic energy is equal to the center of mass kinetic energy plus, plus the internal kinetic energy. Okay, actually, so you can say, okay, actually, actually the, the, also the internal kinetic energy is also equal to the total kinetic energy minus the kinetic, the kinetic energy of center of mass. Okay, it's also, it's also kind of <laughs> useful. Okay, so this is the final part for the collision section. And the final part, I just use the Concept called internal kinetic energy. And the internal kinetic energy is the maximum possible energy you would lose during an inelastic collision. And the, the, the total kinetic energy of system is equal to the kinetic, internal kinetic energy plus the kinetic energy of center of mass. Okay, so this video is kind of too long, so I will stop the video here. Okay, so see you in the next video. Bye bye. Well, See you in the next video. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.